Hey, Falcon Nation, welcome to Volleyball Media Day. Voice of the Falcons, Mike Ricker, being joined now by head volleyball coach, Shelby Reese. I got that right, too. Yes. Year three. So here's my first question. Year one, didn't have much time to recruit. Nope. Still did okay. Last year, had a full recruiting class. Right. Region 19 championship. Awesome. All freshmen. Yeah. They're all back, basically. Yeah. Year three, you have first year players and second year players. Yeah. So how ex <laughs> how exciting is that and what are your expectations for the ladies? Um, I have to be honest, I have high expectations just knowing what the conference looks like, getting um, a better understanding for myself as a coach and what region uh, 19 looks like and what outside region 20 things like that looks like. I think we um, have a strong, strong future ahead of us. So. Good. And then those that have w watched last year, you know, the regular Angie and Nadia and Maddie and Alasia and who else am I missing that contributed? Is there anyone else out there? Uh, Zoe. Zoe. They're all back. So new ladies that have come in. Who are we looking? I, I know you've recruited all impact players, but yeah. is there one or two that we should be like, oh, my goodness, she's going to be very impactful in the region? I think we have a good group of all positions. Um, I'm really confident with our DSs. We have strong, um, strong DSs coming in as freshmen. We have uh, more hitters. Last year, our offense, we were really Angie and Nadia were f were feeding our offense. So now we have um, a whole group of like Lay returning as well. She's going to be helpful just having that experience. But um, Jana Hoffman, you'll be speaking to her this right. afternoon. I think she um, brings a higher level of play into our offense. Um, but each one of them, um, we have Nerd. She's coming in as a middle. Um, everyone's trying to play a different position. So um, putting everyone in the right position, but having that option to be flexible, to try them in different positions at the beginning. So closer to playoffs, we could see where everyone fits best. How awkward is this microphone thing? It's, 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 a, little it's, it's a little It's a little bit. We won't blame Ferg, yeah. but we're, blame, we're, we're blaming Ferg. It, it's, it's okay. Thanks, Ferg. <laughs> How have you grown as a coach? Now, before you started coaching here, you were a division, NCAA Division three coach. Yeah. You are an employee of the school, yeah. along with being a volleyball coach. How have you grown over the last three years? Um, more patience, I would say. Um, just having two roles. In my previous um, position, I was a full-time coach, so now being an academic advisor for the student athletes, right. making sure that I'm I'm doing what I need to do there, but making sure that we're progressing this program, the volleyball program, where it needs to be, recruiting-wise, um, team culture-wise, just being there for my student athletes and finding that balance. So I think. The balance has been challenging for me, but I do think each season I've grown a little bit more. I think we have 14. Did I see 14? 14 ladies. So will we see like more like interaction with them on the sideline? Like if I watch it like NC Division One, yeah. like there's a lot of yeah. players yeah, on. So we talk. Today. I'm very excited about me that. Me too. We'll see. We'll see. One thing I am nervous about, and you mentioned to me, is someone who has to staff the table right. and make sure that we have scorekeepers and libero trackers. Mm -hmm. so there's going to be a lot of subs. Have so subs I have, ha I have that. So is that something we should expect a lot of? Since you have 14 roster yeah. girls, there's a lot of substitution. Get everyone a chance to get out on the floor. 100%. I think our team, everyone has the ability to play um, and contribute. So um, if you were to ask me if a starting six, I don't have that because everyone has the ability to contribute. Everyone has a role. Um, we talked about bench culture yesterday practice and what our expectations were and so hopefully you hear a little more noise from the benches right. less coach and I it's a, it's a to, <laughs> yes to, yes to yes, noise and yes, stuff too. yes has and we'll let you go after this one has practices been a little bit easier having 14 My girls like feels great yeah I've had there's there's less stuff for you less. yeah so that's been nice that's something that's been great for me and coach we have six on six um quality reps um even just with the freshmen coming in i think right. this is the biggest thing our level of competition has increased in the gym so our um upperclassmen we have seven returning um it heightened their game right. and the the pace back and forth the rallies the digs it's just 10 times more competitive than what we ended the season off and i was happy with how spring season ended with our upperclassmen so and then just one more request from someone who has to announce the games and be at the table. Can we just win all the matches 3-0 so oh. we can get home faster? Right. Is, yeah. that, is that we something we can work on? We will do our best, but you know what? I'm okay with... With, with just W's however we get them? Yes, okay, yes. we like 3-0s. Like learning how to 
bounce back, all that we need that. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Coach Shelby Reeves, head coach, women's volleyball. Catch them here at the Student Union or online, LackawannaFalcons.com, all our home events. Thanks for joining Thanks. us. Good luck this year. Thanks. All right, that's Lackawanna coach Shelby Reese.